ingredients. Flax seeds are a wonderful base for a smoothie because they're one of the highest foods in omega-3 oils. We're going to start with the flax seeds because you have to blend them dry. Okay, so now we're going to load up the blender and make the smoothie. I'm going to start with about a cup of almond milk and a lot of our fresh ingredients. That's about a half cup of kale, about a half cup of spinach. I like to put in a, it's almost a full apple, about one and a half frozen banana to make a nice smooth ice cream consistency. And to go with that, just a few cashews to help make it really creamy. A couple of dates for sweetness, some walnuts, Give it a good tang and also really good omega 3 acids. And this is some special honey, it's Manuka honey from New Zealand that's really high in antibacterial properties. It tastes a little unusual. And then we have these cool powders. This is spirulina, which is a single cell algae type organism. It's been actually eaten for thousands of years by people in Africa, and it's an ancient plant. And this is Udo's Choice, which is a mixture of different um, seeds and microgreens, or sprouts that are dried out. I'm using about one and a half tablespoons of sprout. And sometimes I might even put different things in, but today that's what we're going to start with. And the great thing about smoothies is, is that there's so many different ingredients that you can put into them. Each one is unique. It's like a snowflake. So let's try this one out and see how it tastes. Mm, that's really good. 